Hello and welcome to Zach 103 TV and today we're going to be racing at Bristol in the Cars Lane Cup Series and um, uh, let's start with a few top five starting first German Chick 81 second Brendan Nelson third Cray Cray Tacos being her best starting position third uh, fourth Gar Salamander and fifth Bradley Ream so uh, real quick I got a little thing I'd like to um, and out. So, uh, as you can see on the hood, it says National Fasting and Prayer, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. That is going to be an event taking place starting this uh, Wednesday, uh, starting this Thursday. Um, and basically, uh, I'm not forcing religion on anybody, but if you'd like to pray and fast, um, this is an announcement for that. It is a national uh, thing, so yeah. And uh, if you want to participate in that, you may. We have uh, about eight cars advertising this, including um, German Chick 81, who ironically started pole, and uh, Curry Curry Tacos starting third, and a uh, few other cars. So, the Curry Curry Tacos is the only Toyota in this, and uh, she decided to get a black car. Everyone else's is white with different accent colors, and it, uh, you might see those in the race. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna be going green. We're gonna be starting engines in just a few seconds. Let's go with um, points leader. Or let's go Savage Toy Show. He's starting in the back, but I'm sure you can get something going here. Uh, of course, starting in the back. Surprisingly, uh, Ronnie Martin back here too had a decent race at uh, Martinsville, I think. Drivers, start your engines! And the engines. And the engines are started. Let's go up front. This will be 50 laps. Caution all on, hopefully we don't see any. Then there's our national prayer and fasting car of Dermer Chick 81, Cray Cray Tacos in the picture. Enjoy paints so far back there as we are going green at Bristol. Drum Chick 81 getting a good start. Also another note, Drum Chick 81 won the Jazz 500 and has been decently consistent this year. Third in points and a win here should be the second, uh, should be the first uh, two-time winner of the season. Mr. Craig Curry Taco is making a move under uh, Brandon Nelson. Oh, wow. I get a little, a little bump and run there let's go with the 95 Is that a rough season been playing with the playoff um bubble but uh if she finishes where she is today definitely will be in um those right now just a few points short i'm trying to get a good run here today she said 50 laps already started a whole bunch of that uh trying to keep your salamander behind is Brendan Nelson trying to catch up to Grim Chick 81 who's been relentlessly trying to get that second win of the season. It's not on a plate track and first time that has run a different scheme these national current fasting cars. There's James the Fish. He's been playing with the playoff bubble as well. Ask our salamander. We're, to do it. We're also keeping an eye on uh, Vernon Nelson. Whatever Vernon Nelson is doing to try to maybe pass Drum Chick 81. So, so far, nothing yet. There's a last week's one to beat that in the picture. Starting to pull away. Pick, keep an eye on these cars in the back. Oh, James the fish up the track there. Whoa, Iron Crusader getting aggressive with the 48 and not a weave.
lot of aggression right now early in the race. There's Brad Stover trying to recover from a very good race but terrible finish due to an accident in Martinsville. Still short track racing right here. After this race, another short track South Boston. You may be unfamiliar with it, but it is another racetrack. Points there. So really not much eventful stuff going on right now in the top five. Um, let's look at Joy Paints. Says had a decent season so far. Uh, currently 10th in points. Running a national party in fast and car as well with an accent color of purple. We uh, run these cars to get the word out and uh, this race will be uploaded on YouTube day before so um, hopefully you watch this day before and get some fasting and if you watch it a little later and it's the second or third it eh, don't hurt maybe if you want to this is not it's not mandatory just a suggestion uh, maybe uh, get a pray instead of doing a few meals so, uh, and I'm not forcing religion just uh, something that my church has uh, decided to um, make uh, to announce so uh, it is a national thing so anyone can do it uh, even if you're from a different country and a 20 of third and Alexa gaming trying to make some moves on feedback our points leader after Martinsville leading every lap including the last one which got him the first his first one of the season that number 31 711 car oh and um he won this year at Ricky Raceway Joy Paints came seventh in that uh, second in that race so it's like, um he is the only winner this season that's outside the playoffs he needs to get some good points today currently not inside the top 10 he could you can do that though he's just a couple positions short of Brad Stover trying to get a top 10 not doing good in points right now There's a 23rd and Alexa trying to pass um, Feedback and Will. The top lane has been good in certain runs. So, it's interesting. So, Drum Trick 81 has led a lot of laps. Uh, 18, and if she leads 20. Very confident she could become the points leader after this race as well if she leads every lap. This race has the same amount of laps as um, Martinsville did, so it'd be 500 points just like Feedback had if she leads every lap. And plus another 50 points added on to what she has, plus that if she wins the race. If you finish second, you get 42 points. So like Crickery Tacos and James the Fish. Aggressive up here. Mercury Taco is the highest running, second highest running uh, national prayer and fasting car other than German Chick 81, who is in first. It'd be nice to see one of those cars win today. Honestly, didn't expect it. But, uh, okay. And of course, German Chick 81 would like to get second win of this season as well. Came okay, very close at uh, uh, North Carolina. Kirker Tacos fighting with 35. Actually crashed in practice. Don't have a record of that. I was decided to watch practice and Kirker Tacos actually had an incident with Brad Stover, but that didn't affect her starting position. So um, and another note as you can see the standings on the side. Um Bre uh, Brennan Nelson has not caught much on the 30 on the 81, but um, both those drivers have had very good season this year, uh, the 88 with, uh, Red Bull team, and that Cricker talks is actually his teammate at the 88's team owner. Bradley Ream, uh, up there in fourth, he had, he won at Thornton, going through the middle. If you can watch that race, it's, uh, available to watch. And then last week's winner, Feedback, and sneaking himself into the top ten. 
so yeah yeah not really much action going on at all on the racetrack uh number five nascar fan i just uh, NASCAR fan uh, or motorsports fan number five in the back. So let's go to German Chick 81, see how she's doing. Doing good. See, does, does, do, are we seeing any lap cars? Yeah, we are seeing lap cars, and it being lap 27, we have passed halfway. No yellows yet, but Gar Salamander, a good season for him too. But these guys have not loosened too much on the lead at all. Third Chick 81, of course, would love to get that second one of the season after winning the Jazz 500. Get win number two here at Bristol for a good cause, national prayer and fasting. Uh, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, which will be uh, uh, the day after this video starts and uh, Friday and Saturday, and then of course Sunday being Resurrection Day. It's actually Cray Cray Taco's birthday, so that's cool. Lands on Resurrection Day this year. So lap 30, uh, if when German Trick 81 leads this lap, uh, this would be a lot of points for her. And so far, those cars, uh, we are looking to see them. If that could affect this race, so. Uh, the number nine of Mr. Fresh American and Seal back there currently. So, and these guys are losing um, about a second a lap at, uh, right now. So, German Chick 81 will catch them very shortly. So, yeah. Not to mention the possibility of caution coming out. So, Dirt Chick 81 hoping to stay in front of that 88. 88 also have come very close to a win a couple times this year. The 81 wants to get two. And this obviously being a very good points day for Dirt Chick 81, just like North Carolina does not want to come graduate again. And we are under a caution flag. Sam Kerbadzik. So we will not see lap cars in this race. 46 of Sam Perbadzik. What's you having him? He got spun around by the 84 of Cactus King. Cactus King being in 37th. He was in the back, so he's trying to do well here. So let's put TV2 here, see what we got from this angle. So moving him down the track, and he just went up the track, did hit the wall, and I believe he had contact with the nine Caleb Williams missing it by a little bit. Um, Motorsports fan 97 and 100 of Seal and the nine of uh, nine of uh, Mr. Fresh probably got some damage there, but 100 of Seal could not miss that. And then of course your leader Drum Shake 81 uh, getting out of the way. So under caution right now. Uh, that is not for position. That is as the caution flag came out and after they raced to the line. So yeah, that's what's looking right right now. Uh, for Sam Kerbadzik. And uh, yeah, again, uh, take a look at Cactus King in the 84. He should be okay. And then the nine of Mr. Fresh. Actually, uh, the 46 is a lap down. Scored, so the nine is uh see how he's doing he's doing okay so let's go back up front here with the 46 so we i believe that he will be going to the bottom since he went a lap down before the caution flag i want to say i'm not 100 percent sure okay no i don't think he did 
but he might go to the bottom here and start underneath these guys, which could cause a mix-up or a stir or possibly a change for the lead, so we don't know. And pace car are gonna go a couple more laps. It doesn't take too long here for pace car to get around, so it's not too bad. This is gonna be a perfect time for bit. So um, we're gonna go green with a little more than 10 laps to go. So Brennan Nelson could get win number one here. Gar Salamander uh, in German Chick 81 could get win number two. Uh, Bradley Ream up there could get win number two. Crickery Tacos could get win number one. James the Fish, not a weave, has had an awful season, but it's running seventh here at Bristol. Great day for not a weave. I'm sure he can get a good run. Iron Crusader up there had a rough season so far. Rick Thornton, third in Alexa Gaming, led the most tied with the most laps led at. Uh, uh, Jazz 500, uh, Dream Chick 81 eventually winning it. Okay, Sam Krabaz will not be going to the bottom. We're going green right now. And, uh, of course, Feedback, who won last week, would like to go two for two. Don't know if he can do it with 10 laps to go. A couple in battle laps. A green flag in the air. See what happens. Dribbleshake 81 pulling away, that's what she wants to do. See if the bats is in the way, not a way to pull back. Trick 81, so trying to get the first, the two wins within 10 races would be the first multi-winner of the season if she wins today. And it's looking like that lead's pulling away, and we hope no more cautions. So um, definitely interesting. Same for Bad Scalap down. He is affecting these guys right now. Negatively. So German Chick 81 leading just a few laps left for them. Trickery Tacos fighting in the back. And German Chick 81 hoping to go caution free win here. Or yellow would put it where she could win the race. Uh, come two to go. So German Chick 81 uh, has been very successful this year. Um, and remember, everyone has the same ratings, so, uh, Drum Chick definitely one to watch this year, been very consistent, it definitely could be the points leader after this race, that probably will be, we're, uh, four to go now, for Drum Chick 81, and she has just been very good this season, of course, advertising National Day of Prayer and Fasting, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, because and uh, 88 catching up here okay this could be interesting the 88 and the 12 has started to catch up this is not going to be a runaway for the uh, 81 maybe not Let's see two more to go for Richard 81 to hold off that 88 let's go to that rear camera view One lap to go at Bristol. Can the 88 catch the 81? I don't think so. I think the 81 got it. And drummer chick 81 coming around to the turn four for the final time and will win here at Bristol. Win number two, 2021. The first multi-winner.
congratulations to Germchick81. And Brendan Nelson came close, but fortunately didn't get it. So, Germchick81, second one of the year. Well, congratulations to her. We will see you at South Boston next week. Man, that was pretty thin. But yeah, we'll see you at South Boston next week.